How many times have I looked at the camera and I told people to put on their sunglasses because it was just too much awesome? I can recall one time. Okay, well... <laughs> And roll the start of the show. <laughs> so, uh, 600. 600! We did it! 600 RC adventures. And they already saw the thumbnail, so there was no point in, like, Covering it up, no, I pretty suppose. much. We can cover it up. You know, I won't give you a close-up look for a minute, I suppose. She's so pretty. We're gonna have to do a surround. Everyone's been wondering where Project Large has been. I've seen many comments. Yeah, the collection video uh, was done. Where's Project Large? You RC know? heaven. Yeah, pretty much where it's been. <laughs> I think uh, everyone expected that we had this great truck. We did. <clears throat> but we just run into a gremlin. Ours had problems. Ours, yours, whatever you want to call it. Have you had an RC with a gremlin in it before? I have, many times. I've had a couple. Uh, where you can't seem to get the problem worked out, no matter what yep. it is. Eh? You replace one part, some other part that's still screwing up. You go through it and, uh, yeah. Yeah. What, what, what was your overall what did you want to do when we found out it was broken well we had problems with the dual servos on project large true it didn't work out for us uh, so we wanted to do away from that what were the servos they were high tech universe. high tech 57 65 servos the big giant scale servos. on a on a dual uh servo setup for those yeah. that watch project large uh we had the dark soul dual servo setup we had them centered we had the arms there was one thing after it was like the work steering <laughs> was too tight it would burn out a servo like something would go wrong it would burn out the servo yeah. and it wouldn't burn out one like a go over a jump hit and it would kind of twist the tires and lock the servo yes. it's almost like they didn't have a stop in them yeah pretty much it was over pushing them for <clears> sure <throat> so we tried smoke just show. servos the saver you know yeah I mean, servo saver we switched it out oh completely. man checked the spring tension we replaced the electronics like three times <laughs> Didn't work. So uh, out, out it goes. Hey? Some people have problems with it. Some people didn't. Some that's people why, didn't. That's why we went with it. Some people did. Some didn't people work didn't. for me. Uh, no. But there are other options out there. And in fact, I'm just going to get straight to it and say, Everett said, Everett said, let me take the low C. Yeah. You said it to me about, uh, I'm going to say at least in October, we were <laughs> yeah, talking October, about it at November. the end of season after the, yeah. the eight wheels eight cartwheels you did That's with right. the green truck. It was a little bit after that, yeah. <clears throat> that was the last time I ran that. We, we did lots of films that they didn't see because... No, yeah. That day they got ran, Project Large yeah. died that day as the, well. The day, the day of the poop truck. And That's mine, why it was alone. I couldn't even run mine because we yeah. burned out two more Yeah, circles. we drove it for a little bit before we started filming and... Yep, and that was it. <laughs> It went over too many bumps, locked, burned out two more servos. It was weird. And so I went yeah. through six servos that season. Yeah. And at a buck fifteen or a hundred and thirty or whatever they are Canadian each, that was too much. So we canceled that. And you said, let me take it away. Let me build you something that would be amazing. Exactly. I believe a one fresh your, start. I believe one of your sentences to me somewhere along was my chassis looked like a banana. <laughs> it was, a, it was <laughs> definitely warped. It was a warped chassis. From the 25 foot jumps and all this stuff that we, we had. We should have replaced it we before. We should have replaced right? the chassis right from the beginning. <laughs> so I'm not blaming anybody for the servos at all. It's just the whole swiggity whacked done. <laughs> it didn't like us that truck. <laughs> done. Uh, so you did something special. We built the awesome. And I see that there is an amazing color scheme of RC Sparks. There is. Certainly. We, we themed it up. That's for sure. It, I don't even know where you want me to start. It is on the Axis RC uh, rocket stand. You have one of these. I do. Best stand in the world. Yeah. For sure. For this. There's other options. But this one comes with a plate where you can access all the screws. You're telling me they have a thing where it can yeah, flip Yeah, you got an attachment to see the bottom of it. Yeah, that would be 45 better. 45 degree angle. Easier for these guys to see. I'll have to check yeah. into that. Uh, we got to get the camera in here. You want to get in there? Let's get it blah, in. blah, and get, some get in, it in there. Let's, let's cut it and get in close. And as Everett says, hi -ya -ya! <laughs>
Okay, so uh, lots of partners uh, came in on this, and number one, I have had this amazing Penta body uh, from Hemistorm RC, my buddy Chris. Thank you, Chris. And of course, Thunder Designs want to do an exterior wrap uh, to kind of commemorate what Project Large has been all about. And so Project Large 2.0, we wanted to have the same color scheme as the RC Sparks, uh, you know, RC Adventures, RC Sparks website. The Penta body actually allows you to take off your fender flares, or fenders, pardon me, here, here, back and back. You can have an open wheel uh, class if you want to run. But the way he's designed this, to take these on or off, you can replace pieces. Like if you break one, you get one piece of cake. He did good, hey? Looks killer. Yeah, it looks amazing. So thunderdesigns.net did the wrap. Good job. I got a little bit of overlap in some areas, but I think overall it looked boss. Chris DeGraff actually painted this for me. And the rest is history. Come on, I don't want to look at the body forever. I want to get to the truck. Body's cool, but it's cooler inside. Everybody wants to see up close. This could be the raddest machine on the planet. <laughs> wow. I got to see this for the first time yesterday. That's right. You've had this for many months. <laughs> Hiding in my basement. Big budget project. <laughs> yeah, you betcha. Okay, go ahead. Give me a breakdown. What are we looking at? Low C Roller starts off PM Hobbycraft. Low C Roller for PM Hobbycraft. That's right. That's right. Support your local hobby store. Okay, what do we got? We got frozen. Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> This is the point in the episode where we realize we are going to be talking about the vehicle, starting at this side, <laughs> all the way through to the back. All the neat things that got done. Ah, uh, ta-da! Yeah, okay. <laughs> Take 92. Van of white, bitches. <laughs> where are we gonna start? Where are we gonna start? <laughs> <laughs> and action. Do it. Serious right time. Okay, serious. I'm serious. Serious face serious. only. Serious in faces, all right. I like my truck. Your yeah, truck. I don't know whose truck it is, but I like serious. it anyways. Serious. Serious. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I don't even know where to start. I need another beer. <laughs> Cut. Professional. Go. Do it. Where's the red light? It's red right here. I know what you were probably doing. Action. Go. This. Explain the truck. What What are they looking at? We are looking at a low C5 that we made amazing. Right. We already covered that. Now we did go, it. Go. <laughs> we went with some hostiles right here. The stock rims black. Okay. These were the stock gray rims. The stock gray okay. rims. Covered that. These are hostile MXs. Hostile MX. This is the modified RC power <laughs> that we did. Yes, it is. Right. Okay. This is, what is this? DDM. Did chassis it, brace, I think, yeah. It's a stock chassis brace then? It's not stock. You know, I'd actually almost say Turtle Racing makes it. It's so similar to their other parts, but DDM, okay. it's their name on it on their site. Okay, nice. Went with some hostile braces here again. Turtle Racing air intake can box. Feel, can you feel that intake box again for us? Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Don't show that. And action! <laughs> and the turtle racing yeah, air excellent. intake Very box. Nice. Isn't yeah. it beautiful? Oh my god, what did you have for lunch? <laughs> this is just oh the worst god. video ever. <laughs> so here you can actually see that we have an OBR engine. This is the Widowmaker. It's 9.7 horsepower. Uh, we have the Victory RC pipe that was sent along from OBR because the, the, what is this? The uh, the exhaust manifold actually has a wider opening. Is that correct? Yeah, exactly. Yep. That's more what we're airflow. Told. It's more bigger opening. Yeah, hey, than your standard go. size. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. I also see Savox. Whose center diff is this? That's modified RC parts again. Man, Ridiculous parts. This guy is brakes too. He got. Uh, these are a little different here. You might not see these too often. Uh, he put this out recently. These are booted brake discs. Yeah, with the zip tie. Uh, yeah, with a zip tie. Keep a little grease in there. Keep it cool and a little nicer from wearing out. Nice, nice brake upgrade. Very nice. Very nice. Isn't it just killer? Okay. One with a Bartolone racing yeah, carrier. Say, Bartolone. Let's spin it around. Let's spin it around. Yeah, let's spin it around. One with his clutch bell inside there too. Let's have a look at this. Ooh-wee. Very nice. Okay, so here. This is... 
Somebody asked us why would we do the mesh mod instead of just putting uh, outerwares in there. There's your answer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> especially from the other side. Woo, we'll spin it quickly. Yeah, sexy, look at that. Very nice, very nice. I see a different throttle linkage too, what's this? Yeah, that's it... a DDM linkage again. Quick release. Right there, quick release. Wicked, wicked little uh, gimmick there. Yeah, you, yeah, you can, if you want to swap out the motor, right, or the engine, simply, go ahead, demonstrate, man. Demonstrate. <laughs> I can't get my fingers in there right oh, now. Okay. Well, that was just quick as all there you go. quick Done. gets. Quick release, right on. Okay, underneath, I also see, dun, 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 Bartolone skid plates. I like this better than the uh, full force one we had before. This one actually has a bend in it, so when you come down, it doesn't actually, you know, bang against it, right? Yeah, these chassis braces are gnarly. Very sick. One at the back. Kablamo. Look at that. Perfect in place. We should talk about what we did to the pipe. Yeah, man, sure. Go ahead. Go the ahead. The pipe normally comes in raw, mm -hmm. raw steel. But we had this thing ceramic coated at uh, Top Gun Coatings, a local store in Calgary here shop yep. that does ceramic coating. Why would you do that? Why would you ceramic something? Why would you ceramic? It, it helps with the heat for one. Okay. And two, it looks phenomenal. Yeah, the flow. <laughs> and you, with ceramic on the inside, the flow, right? So it's just, yeah. if you guys touch this, it's And like it, it helps with the flow and the heat. So it's... Nice. Yeah, it's just a good, good little thing to do, a little extra. Will you really notice the difference? Well, my eyes do. Right Last there. Last thing to put on, actually. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's get it on there. Check it out. We just greased around here with a bit of grease. It's kind of messy because we pulled it off, but it was really neat the first time. Right. <laughs> Maybe we should put the throttle linkage back on while we had it off. Yeah, that's why we took this off, to get this final piece of throttle linkage in there. So you'll notice that this filter system is <clears throat> not the stock filter system. No. It's not the stock filter system. Tell us why, Everett. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just goes with turtle box system. You know, it's the uh, Baja's air filter assembly. It's one of the better ones around for keeping dust nice. and dirt out of your engine. Look at that. Snaps together. There we go. Very, very nice. We'll wait to oil this till the day we're going to run it. Yeah. Fortunately, we'll be running there today. And Sorry, guys. Yeah, man. No. And even to start this up, right? Like, right now... At the time of this filming, it has been winter for us, dropping yeah. snow, <laughs> sub, sub, zero. Minus 20, 30 for the last couple of weeks. Yeah, for you guys day. in the U.S., like minus 20, yeah. uh, you know, Fahrenheit, that kind of thing, or colder. So both of us <laughs> look like a couple of ghosts. We haven't seen the sun in months. We're dying to play with some of these toys. Yeah, man. we're setting it up like the DBXL, all the stuff, getting ready for this upcoming year of RC adventures, yeah? Yeah, you bet. The new season, the next 100 videos until we get to 700. I don't even want to think about that. That's a ton of work. Just yeah. to even get to 600. We had some great videos, though. We did. Together, just with us two, too, you know, when I started joining on board. Yeah. And blast. About a year and a half? Yeah. A year and a half ago. Maybe yeah, a longer. A year and a half, a little longer, probably. In that, in that area. His first time on camera was Project Large. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Wasn't that in that area? I think when we just had the three trucks out at Strathmore. Yeah. It was definitely the first, first time. And then yeah, Project Large. oh, right, right, right. But yeah. on camera, in the studio. Yeah. Okay. Project Large, yeah. So Project we revisited Large. her. Yeah, buddy. Way to go. Okay, well, uh, what do we, throw the thing back up there? and Let's put the lid back on, have a look at it overall. I'll give you my overall let's thoughts. Let's Google some more. I'm trying to be serious here. Serious time it's again. Episode 600. Everyone's watching. 600. Okay, so uh, great job. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, buddy. Uh, it's very serious. And, you know, one of these. Yeah, that's Bro great. Bro hug. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and uh, great. Looks boss. <laughs> don't even sure what to do now. I don't know. I don't know. Did you have a favorite RC adventure? Uh, Did I have a on? favorite RC adventure? No, they're all awesome. <laughs> they all are pretty awesome. Jet that was week. true. You Jet help. Week is definitely one I was going to bring up. You helped me film Jet Week. Uh, yeah, was that your, was amazing. What was your favorite plane on Jet Week? Uh, man, I have a pick one. F-22 Raptor? Yeah, that was, that might be, I don't know, man, that, there was just so much cool, you know? We had the onboard, we had the big uh, boomerang, which was the white one that had the American flag on it. That was the boomerang XL, yeah. where we had the onboard. I gotta tell you, awesome. standing there with those jets going by was... The uh, noise. An experience. The, yeah, the noise of them alone is like, that These blows you away. Missiles going by. <laughs> uh, we did uh, HD Overkill, and uh, the, uh, remember the Ford, uh, that was the beast with the brown Ford. That's 
That's movie. right. That was seen three million that times. That was a great day. We almost died to film that for you guys. We totally did. <laughs> it was exceptionally <laughs> slippery on the hills that we're on. Yeah. Uh, but we had that. That was last April, actually, at the time of this Oh, film. my goodness. That's coming up a year already. Almost a year. Time flies. Three million views. A lot of people enjoyed that one, so that was cool. You've helped me on quite a bit, man. So I've I appreciate been in quite that. a bit now. You're going to be in some more? Probably. Good. That's the way we like it. See what it. happens. That's the way we like it. Guys. See how this video turns out. <laughs> <laughs> you know the routine. You like it, subscribe. Hopefully there's going to be 600 more. You never know. 600 though, man. That's a crazy number. Huge. I just want to say, Gem guys. Gem sends right? her love. Gems, like I said earlier on, or even mentioned it, she's up watching my son right now, making sure we could even do this for you guys. How many shows get to 600? <clears throat> Not many, man. Not actual episodes. You guys have been there for all of them, so thanks. Been uh, a blast. Yeah. Comment your favorite RC adventure below. We'll see you guys next time. TB! Peace. <laughs>